Hello, everyone. We are now moving on to week number three. Uh, let me just remind you that for week number one and week number two, you are supposed to recall the foundational skills you learned from the first year, namely uh, OOP in Java. So I'm hoping that my review tutorial series part one and part two, specifically part two about reference type attributes really help you recall uh, what you uh, are supposed to learn from the first year. If you got any trouble understanding the foundational stuff, don't be shy. Just don't hesitate to contact me sooner rather than later. So I'll try my best to see if I can uh, help you any further. And for this week, we have to move on to new topics. And this course is about advanced op uh, object-oriented programming. So we have to cover uh, some advanced stuff. This week is going to be a new topic about exceptions for error handling. It's not really a big topic. We just need one week to cover that. But it does have some tricky aspects that you really have to clarify. Uh, I need to clarify and you have to learn uh, properly, namely caller versus callee in a method invocation and also what, what is an exception, how you can uh, handle exception in terms of a call stack and also the catch or specify requirements that every caller have to obey. Right? Issues like this and I'll give you uh, a number of examples for you to play with and also to uh, reinforce the understanding. So that'll be the plan for week number three, the lecture. Okay, as usual, let me uh, spend a little bit of time uh, guiding you through about the work items that you're supposed to uh, complete for week number three. Let me go on to that. Let's start with the lecture. So you will see that on your uh, lectures page, not the e-class, but the lectures page, you will see there is a video playlist of YouTube over there. I would say that might be the best way, uh, the easiest way for you to get started. Let me show to you. If you go to the uh, ECS 2030 lecture site, go to week number three right this is where we are and then even though i said wednesday over here but according to the uh, semester calendar you're supposed to get started on your weekly lecture on monday if you're still finishing off your part two of the tutorial series that's okay but just try to finish that as soon as you can so you can have enough time to really go over uh, all the lecture materials that's that'll be my best advice for you so if you click on the YouTube uh, link over here, you will see this is the playlist of the uh, uh, for the lecture for week number three. You can definitely start with uh, the, the first one should be an introduction video. You will see that when you refresh your browser and then you can start with the lecture videos one by one. I try to control each clip uh, to be clipped to be within uh, 20 minutes or so. So hopefully that should be an, uh, should be manageable uh, for you to actually dedicate a certain time throughout the day to actually watch the video. All right. And let me just go back. Oh, actually, just show you one more thing. So these are the break, uh, the topics breakdown for the week number three. And then you will see the intro notes and also the notes for the lecture. So you will see these are the annotated version of my notes over here. So as you go through the lecture video, please also refer to them if necessary, right? That might be also important for your visual learning. Let me go back. And then I got the lecture slides over here, right? Exceptions. And if you plan to print it out, be uh, nice to our earth. So you may want to print it out uh, on the fourth, uh, fourth slide per page version, or you can simply read it on your computer or mobile phone. That might be better, right? You don't need to print it out sometimes. All right, and then for questions, uh, there's a separate link over here. You can post your questions as you study. That might be the uh, best way to kind of motivate yourself, you know, to really uh, study. Uh, the uh, the lecture videos one by one. Whenever you got any questions, any doubts, feel free to post on the Google Doc. That's really what that document is meant for. And then uh, I got several diagrams over here about a call stack uh, to understand exception handling. You can definitely refer to them. For example, this is the one that's about a general scenario for method calls and then exception handling. Either you catch or specify. You will see exactly what I just meant uh, when you study the uh, lecture. Okay. And then I got two uh java archive projects over here that i spoke about in the lecture so one is about circle and bank the other one is about the example i created to really illustrate to you exception handling the requirements for catch or specify to handle or not to handle right there are certain pieces of code which i spoke about in the slides but i didn't put onto the uh uh, the source code available to you. So the, the intention is you should really try to put in some uh, the code that you want to experiment experiment with uh, on your own into Eclipse. So that would be my advice. Don't rely just on me. I'll try to give, give you as much as I can, but you should also do your part. Just be curious about how the code should work if you just tweak it a little bit, okay? So that's about the study materials uh, for this week, okay? And then let me just highlight very quickly. So you will just watch the videos one by one over here about exceptions 
And then also the iPad notes over here about visual illustrations. And also you got a slides. And also you can post the questions on the Google Doc. And then you also got some diagrams for your uh, study. And also you got a source code. You really, really want to put experiments yourself. on your own it's really important right because sometimes I may not I may not cover every aspect for the code and if you got any doubts you should really try it out yourself try the debugger try the breakpoints and if you got any doubts about the experiment result you can always post it on the Google Doc for questions or just drop by my office hour either way okay what about the learning objectives for this week as we'll see you will learn about the difference between caller and callee over here caller versus callee in a method call or method invocation and then you will learn about error handling in two different ways one is about using console messages the other one is about using exceptions apparently this would be quite limited or even inappropriate and you should really know why it would be inappropriate before you can actually learn about the exceptions and appreciate the appropriateness for uh, Java exceptions. Okay, and then uh, we learned about the notion about call stack is really important, and also uh, especially when you got a uh, call ch uh, chain of method calls. Exactly how to organize the uh, method call will be very important. Otherwise, you cannot really understand how Java will handle the exceptions at the runtime. And uh, also the so-called catch or specify requirements that's also very important right I will also give you uh, quite a few examples to actually illustrate the idea and then we'll give even give you more examples ab about exception handling namely how, how you can have multiple catch blocks and also how you can turn strings into integers by using some exception handling there will be some logical um, design over there that you have to watch out for to understand exactly why it works right in the written test in the exam i might just use the similar code but i just tweak the uh, logical design a little bit so you should really know when i tweak the design what should be the consequence for the uh for the resulting program right that's kind of the uh, the tip i will have for you all right what about the milestone for week number three so you're supposed to submit lab zero part two on the coming friday well look up the uh, exact due time uh for you uh, on your lab manual so please make sure you submit in time okay and then you're going to be released lab number one on Wednesday, September 22nd, according to the semester calendar, right? So just get ready. So you really want to complete part two of your review tutorial series and also get started with your week number three lecture before lab one is uh, released. That'll be the best uh, arrangement, I would say. And then look ahead, uh, looking ahead, we also got, we, well, of course, we got lab one coming up. And also your written test is coming up as well. I will release a uh, practical, uh, practice, uh, preparation guide and practice questions very soon. Okay. Maybe about Wednesday. And then for the extra practice, you can always refer to the 1022 winter 21 tutorial series. So we officially, we have already done the uh, review on OOP from the first year, but you sh your review shouldn't really stop. Uh, at, uh, at this point. So if you really feel the need to review more from the first year, don't stop. I think you should really do it on your own. But if you got any questions, you can always come back to me, All right? Finally, I want to just go back to the semester calendar and put our current week into perspective just to remind you where you are and where you will be, okay? So if you go to the semester calendar over here, so we are now on September 20th over here, right? So that's why I'm releasing week number three lecture over here, right? All the weekly pre-recorded lectures will be released on Mondays, if not earlier. And then in the coming Wednesday, we're going to, uh, Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to discuss your questions related to lab zero part two. And then I'll also release uh, lab one on the coming Wednesday. And then notice that in about two uh, in about 10 days time you will actually get your written test number one as i said i'll try to give you the practice questions and preparation guide on wednesday by the end of wednesday so you got enough time to get prepared all right and also before the reading week you also got your programming test one it's coming but again just to keep in mind but i will give you preparation guide and practice test uh in, uh, in about about a week uh before the actual test that's what i would do all right, that's about for week number three. If you got any concerns about the course, just get in touch. Otherwise, happy studying.